seen Call Me Matt's video going over the MPT tune, check it out. The link will be in the description. This is kind of similar, not as long, not as cool as his, but I've covered MPT a lot in this channel, and you guys pretty much already know my thoughts on it. It was stock, and now we're MPT tuned as of a few days ago in this car. Can't hook for shit. Uh, these tires can't handle it. Even with 273s, uh, colder weather doesn't help at all, you know, but I really think the NT555s from Nitto um, was even a less wide. It was a 255 on my last 3.7. With 373s, it looked better than this car does with 273s and these BF Goodrich Sport Comp tires on it. But there's not much left to say about switching to an FPT tune, especially going from stock to an FPT tune, because power increased, the amount of throttle response increased, the sound, uh, overall drivability, the power band is smoother. Everything is, is so much better. Now, this car was actually pretty quick um, when it was stock for just a cold air intake and uh, axle backs. Uh, if you guys didn't see the video I did uh, of this car doing some poles, like 0 to 80, I'll just put one right here right now so you guys can see it. So now I'm gonna put a pole in after the tune. So that was before, that was stock, this is tuned. much 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 better last 3.7 i had you guys that follow the channel know i had a bama tune to start out with uh going from stock to bama tune was pretty good the car felt great i didn't realize how much more potential the car had just by switching to another tune if there's anybody that you're going to get to tune this car mpt is the best choice even better than going to an actual dyno right now the record on uh, actually aspirated car most of them are all on an mpt tune and for $99, um, you can't really go wrong. You really can't go wrong. And tune updates are only about $20, $25, somewhere around there. That's how many times you're really gonna update. Otherwise, if you're going force induction, it's a whole different tune at that point. So it's really not a bad price. Um, I totally would say it's worth it over getting free tune updates. It's just a way to get you to buy their tunes because everybody sees free tunes for life and immediately say, oh, well, that's, that's great. I don't want to have to pay every time I add a mod to my car. But how many times are you going to have to retune on the motor that you're going to have to, you know, pay to get an update? Like, okay, you do long tube headers, important intakes. Okay, so do them both at the same time. Or, you know, there's really, what else are you going to put on that you really need to do updates for? Unless you're going nitrous or something else, you're really going to have to pay a lot more money for a tune anyway. So... Right now this car has no back seats, uh, no trunk, no anything back there. Not sure if I want to do a full naturally aspirated setup build. Uh, I might just go straight into turbo because that means I gotta get long competitors and, and all that stuff and then when I go turbo, I'm gonna have to change all that over. So I'm still talking to Jack about getting uh, pricing on the kits. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, if I don't go through with it, the car is at least gonna get nitrous at that point, then it will have long tubes and, and all that stuff. So we'll be able to do the all motor build and see how far we can push this thing. This thing for sure will be faster than my last one. It's hundred percent. about this tune over Bama. Um, the throttle response was a little bit better. The power curve was smoother and overall it, uh, it definitely made more power than the Bama tune. But it's just anywhere in the power band you get the gas it got power. Um, the stock lacks a lot um, under under like I feel like 3500 ish around there under three grand. When you get around there, you start getting a little bit, but if you're smoothly accelerating um, from, say, 1,500 RPM, going all the way up to, say, 5,000 in the same gear, um, there's, with the stock tune, a big lag, a slowdown um, around 3,000 right before it. 
uh, that I noticed in this car when it was stock, and it was terrible. Uh, I hated dealing with that. And the tune got rid of that for the most part. Anyways, um, that's basically it. Uh, there's nothing else to say. This tune's fucking great, you know? <laughs> okay, that video was not supposed to end right there, but the GoPro shut off me, SD card was filled up, I had no choice, didn't have any time left to finish doing it. But I said everything I wanted to say in this video. I do want to say I am not sponsored by MPT. Not any way. I don't take any money from them. I don't get asked to do this. No relationship as far as that goes. They are a great company. They're my favorite tuner. I've worked with them for years. I do this because I stand behind them and I like what they do. Um, I've always been satisfied with everything I've gotten from them as far as parts, as far as tuning. Again, this is, I'm not paid to say this. This is truly how I feel. This is my favorite tuning company and I will use them for everything I buy in the future. And that's a fact. Hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. And stay tuned because there's a lot of awesome videos coming. Nice one, guys. That is. Oh, wacky? Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know. <laughs> on? Yeah. Should be on. Nice. Two and a half pounder, baby. That's what we came for.